Some office party, huh? Wake up, lover. I'll make you eggs, and you can eat them off my ass. Oh, my head. What is this place? Oh, it's your bedroom, Claire. Oh, my gosh, it's your bedroom, Claire! Where are my underpants? You made me eat them. They were salty. Thanks for the best night of my life, stud. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is not happening. I have to go. Uh, but I love you. Say you love me or I'll kill myself. Jerry, don't tell anyone. Or, or if you do, say I have really big boobs. Dave, something awful has happened. The last thing I remember is being at the office party, and then I woke up in Claire's bed. I'm not ready to talk to you yet, dude. What do you mean? And and what happened to your arm, Dave? I'm not ready to talk to you right now. What happened last night? Oh, you want to know what happened last night? Yes. Why are you so mad at me? Oh, you want to know why I'm mad at you? Stop repeating what I say. Oh, you want me to stop repeating? Dave! Fine. Where do I start, Captain Tequila Shooters? Oh, I know. How about you barfing on Tom from accounting? <laughs> I'm Tom from accounting. I make sure you get paid on time. <laughs> Tom accounting, your feet smell like barf. That might be because you barfed on them. You're an ass. Dude, uncool. Even I know that. What's the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is winning that trip to Hawaii in the raffle. And the winner is... Jerry! What? Yes! There you go, Jerry! One trip you to Hawaii! Suck. I never win anything! I'm going to Hawaii! Wow! Yes, and then came the jello shots and the beer with the bottle of Jack as a chaser. And then my personal favorite... Hey, get out of the way, Rockin' Ron Gilbert. Your moves are just basic. Is that supposed to be a dig on my program graphics basic? You know it. I heard you're gonna work at Lucas Farts. Yeah, Lucas Arts. That's funny. I've got a good job now with some other talented people. You're hilarious. Farts! Then you made a toast. The king would like to propose a toast to my balls. Let's bring him out here. Don't be shy. I washed him off in the punch bowl. It's okay. Hey, did I mention that I have crabs? Now we all have crabs. <laughs> Everyone say thank you, Jerry. Yes, doggy, that's the second time this week I took a dip in the old crab bowl. Get him out of here, Dave. Oh, and you peed on Benny. What? What's your problem? Just be cool. My pee's gonna make him grow big and strong, so don't even worry about it. I'm a monster! Okay, so that was like the first 10 minutes of the party, and then you put it into overdrive. Defender? Defend yourself from this, Eugene Jarvis. Your game has too many buttons. Scrolling shooter with map view? How about I draw you a map to my fist? How about I draw you a map to my butt? Let's come back. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You scare the out of me. Hey, you wanna hear a black joke? You, Jerry. The Civil War never happened. You know what did happen? Alderaan. Hey, baby, I'm gonna kiss your mouth. It's so cool that you have time to be both a programmer and a lesbian. Hey, are you scared of going to hell, you know, because of the lesbo thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there was that incident in front of Kevin Rush. Hey, yo, I once sidecar an elephant. How dare you? In front of my kids, Jerry? Hey, how old is your daughter anyway? Dude, and then, of course, there was that guy Monty Dew from accounting and Judith St. Desk. I saw these two together in the bathroom, and Judith is married. What a slide. Then it was my turn. Dave, you want to see a trick? Jerry, dude, no. Let's go. When I'm the voice of reason, reason is in deep in trouble. Dude, not till you see my trick. I know it's karate. <laughs> Oh, my jack arm. I said those disgusting things in front of those kids, insulted the only girl I love, and broke your jack arm? Holy shit, I'm so sorry. Whatever, Johnny from Karate Kid, whose last name I can't remember because of my throbbing broken arm. Dude, let's just go to the pitch meeting. I don't need 
afraid to tell you that last night's office party was more out of control than a bourbon drunk stripper with daddy issues blowing rails off a of Hell's Angels tailpipe. Therefore, all future parties are canceled until some people can learn to clinch their pee hole. Oh, man. Ah, too bad my girlfriend couldn't show up to partake in the merriment. She had to work once again. Todd, for the last time, dolls can't be girlfriends. Ditto grimace costumes and office chairs with holes stabbed in them. I refer neither to purloined masketry nor to my furniture. I have a real girlfriend. She has flesh and is flush with feelings of love for yours truly. So Todd, have you actually seen this boyfriend? <laughs> Girlfriend. And no, I have not seen her in the traditional sense, but so what? We enlightened elves see with our souls. And she is still my steady. Yes, it's quite serious. We BBS each other all day long. Boy, you best stop spreading lies about your personal life and pitch me a gosh dog game. Very well. This game is called The Glorious Wedding of Todd and Kitty. I realize this is a departure for me, since romance games are Mary's speciality. The player is the fair maiden Kitty, Meow, who must rescue the handsome Todd, Double Meow. From Smurfington Manor. Give me one good reason I shouldn't shoot you right now. Because I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. It's really kind of sad. You're getting sad and hilarious mixed up. <laughs> Listen, everybody. I have a game I want to pitch. It's called I'm Really Sorry. In I'm Really Sorry, the main character... Jerry realizes that he hurt lots of people at a party, people that he cares about. Then he works really hard to regain his friend's trust because he knows that they feel violated. So what do you say? That was the worst game pitch I ever heard in my entire life. Dean, give him the old ex-wife neck hug. No problem, bro. <laughs> uh, 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 I deserve this. Uh. Then I thought to myself, how could I ever improve my game, Cave and Cavern? Who the hell are you talking to? My girlfriend thinks Cave and Cavern is probably the most inventive game yet. A creative zenith, she calls it. <laughs> I can't say I disagree with her. Oh, right, your girlfriend. Tell me, Todd, what do you think she looks like? I do not think Mary. I know, because she has told me. She is black. Yes, I'm in an interracial relationship. And she is from the great state of Michigan. She likes to travel and provide aid to people in need. And why wasn't she at the office party last night? Because she is a chauffeur for a crime fighter. And as we all know, crime does not sleep. <laughs> Ooh, I'll show you. I'll show you all. Kitty is a real person and she loves me. Is that too hard for you to believe? Yes, it is. Don't worry. I think you actually made some headway in there. Just be cool, okay? Hey, guys. I don't see how you can still hang out with him. Look, it's just that... Because we're best pals, Mary. That's why. Dude, she'll get over it. Oh, my lady is on the BBS. Dearest Kitty, it is your Todd. Hey, hot. Toddy, is that a joystick in your pants, or are you son of a bitch? Whoa! That's ribaldry for you! Fairest kitty, my friends do not believe you exist. I don't care about your friends. I just want to fwoe a thousand times yes to your burian brother. When can you be here? I can be there in ten minutes! I'm already wet! with anticipation. Did that sound wrong? I am wet. No matter. I soon will be one with the one I love. Who are you talking to, Ty? Oh, no, you don't. You don't own me anymore. Now that I have these, my little Tiffany go away pills. Don't you take those pills. They'll change you. In the closet with you, you horrible wench. Wench? Well, I wasn't your wench last night when I was giving you a gentle massage. <laughs> It's over, Dave. My career is over. Stop being a drama queen. How could I have said and done those things? It's just so unlike me. I've worked so hard to be a good person, and boom, just like that, I have the rep of McEnroe. If you want to be a good drunk like me, you have to drink all the time. It takes a lot of practice, dude. Hey, look at it this way. Maybe underneath that nice guy exterior, you're a real douche. I think I'm starting to respect you, man. Oh, no. It's worse than I thought. If everyone hates me, then I'm just gonna have to quit. And if I quit, 
then I won't have any money. And if I don't have any money, then I won't be able to pay the rent. And if I can't pay the rent, I'm gonna have to go hobo and give knuckle dusters for nickels. Oh, 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 Can I borrow a nickel, man? Oh, there you are, Jerry. Wanna grab some? No. I know you're playing hard to get, and I like it. What's that? How did I end up in Claire's bed? Did you know that? Did you know that we had relations? Please, dude, do not ask me to think about that. It makes my brain puke. Kind of like when he puked on Tom from accounting. Stop! I'm so ashamed. I need to start the healing process before it's too late. What are you gonna do, dude? Pay them off, erase their memories, reset the bones in their arms so they don't throb every time I try to whack it? Better. Ah. I'm going to write apology notes. Oh, I just hope she doesn't notice my back knee. I'm as nervous as a schoolgirl astride her first pony. What a majestic machine. There is no way that the woman who steps out of that machine is anything less than a perfect five. Kitty, are you in there? Show yourself, my dear one. Kitty, tis I, uh, uh, tis, tis me, tis moi, your prince. Hello, Todd. Your voice is more masculine than I expected, Kitty. I go by Kit. Get in. And in conclusion, Dean, I'm sorry I told you Clarence's ball gag tasted like rainbows. Your pal, Jerry. Yeah, you know, sucking ball trick plus apology does equal forgiveness. Uh, I really hurt some people's feelings. Look, if it means that much to you, I'll help you apologize to everyone in person tomorrow. Wow, you would do that for me? I'm touched. Yes, I'll do it for you. And for 50 bucks. What? No. Ow, ow, make my arm stop hurting. You know, the one you broke? Fine, here. <laughs> You have the aroma of a fine Corinthian leather. That would be the smell of Michael, the last man I had inside me. He did all sorts of vile things to me. Ah, uh, I too am a victim. Perhaps later we can exchange stories. Tell me something, Kitty. Are you the ghost of a dark elf haunting a car? Shut up and shift me into fourth, Todd. But I just saw you downshift. Surely you can do it yourself. Do it. Oh, as you wish. Oh, yeah. Tighter. Hold it tighter. <laughs> Danger. It's been a long time since I've been in the hands of a real man. Thank you. So few appreciate my virile grip. Put me in third, Michael. I mean Todd. Now, back to second. Uh, ooh, first. Uh, neutral? No! No! First! Yes, yes. Now second again. Your commands are giving me a PG-13 feeling. Do what you're told, man hands. Yes, my lord. Your wish is my command. How do I look? Like the guy who broke my arm? Hey, Black Steve! F you, Cracker. Well, that went well. Ah! Screw you, Dave! Ah! He hates me just for hanging out with you. Thanks for dragging me into this, Jerry. I'm so sorry, man. Those little fingers pack a mighty punch. There was a grown man's rage in that blow. My life is over. Cool out, dude. Come on, Jerry. It's a fact of life. Bad, dirty things happen at office parties, but everyone will get over it. Look, as long as you're cool with Larity, it's all good, so come on. Mr. Larry, they got Jerry here. He needs to... You! How dare you come in my office? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, son! Now get before I get a case of the murder. Once dad bro starts shooting, he can't stop. Front punch! That'll teach you to trick me into putting Clarence's bonbons in my eat hole. Hey, Dean, the ice cream man is in my pants. Sweet! I just got my allowance! Don't worry, Jer. Larity's a special case. No one else wants to kill you. What the hell? Eugene Jarvis? Defend against me! Ah, on second thought, you might out want to apologize harder! Why are we at the back of this mini-mart? Nachos are obtained through the front. Do you know what it feels like to straddle 800 horses? I can't say that I do. Take off your pants. But do you want to walk home? No. Take off your pants. My buttocks are bared, and I, I feel extremely vulnerable. Sit on me. But I am sitting on you. Ride me. I just won a dollar from Clarence. What 
a dumbass. I'm glad you all could make it. Uh, who's hungry? It's a little early for lunch. I just had a bowl of cereal. Well, get hungry, everybody, because I bought you all lunch from Big Ass Burger. Go ahead, dig in, everybody. It's really tasty. Compliments of your best pal, the J-Man. So you won't eat. Fine, I get it. Tit for tat. Ah-ha! Tit! Good one, bro! To make up for what happened last night, I'm going to let Tom from accounting puke on me. Go ahead, puke on me. Sorry, Jerry, I just don't have to puke. Maybe this will help. Wookie vagina. <laughs> I hope you all can love me again. I did this for you! If we just talk for a moment... <sighs> About what? Any topic will do! My favorites are cheese, cheese-based products, Cheese flavored products, dragons, fantastical realm. I don't care about your fantasy land, Todd. Don't you get it? You're just another desperate ATM whore I cruised on the BBS. I mean, nothing to you? Less than nothing. Well, if that's the case, you can forget the loop job I promised you. Look, Todd, this is just casual, right? Take me home! I thought you was cool. I said take me home! I Dude, what are you doing? Typing my letter of resignation. What? Dave, I think I have to quit. I've racked my brains and I can't figure out how to make this right. But I can do right by you, Dave. Here, take this ticket to Hawaii. You deserve it. It's the least I can do for all you've done for me. Your trip to Hawaii? Thanks, man. Look, Jerry, I'm your friend, dude. And friends help friends when friends act like asses towards co-workers. I can fix this for you, once and for all. Just let me work my magic. I don't know, Dave. I've already tried to apologize and nothing has worked. That's because you don't know how to talk to people, dude. There's just something about you that makes people angry. But you lay low for a while. I'll take care of everyone myself. You do that for me? Thanks. What can I do to repay you? You pissed off a lot of people, dude. Black Steve, Mary, Larity, Kevin Rush, Monty Dew, Judith St. Desk. Not to mention Jerry Face and Henrietta Waste Paper Basket. This might take a while. Don't wait up for me. You're a good friend, Dave. I'm so glad that that's over. What's this about? It's my apology note. It's the least I could do after, you know, I called you a lesbian and Jerry, stuff. you didn't say that. Dave did. Dave? No, that's impossible. You got drunk on two beers and passed out after the raffle. But Dave... I'm done from accounting. I make sure you get paid on time. Aww. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Dave pissed off everyone. It's cool. My pee will make him grow big and strong. I got super pee. Hey, everybody, I like to propose a toast to my balls. I wash them in the punch bowl. <laughs> Burn. Mary, it's totally cool that you have time to be a programmer and a lesbian. So you don't hate me? Nope. But I don't like you like you either, okay? Wait a minute. You pissed off a lot of people, dude. Monty Dew. Monty Dew? Mountain Dew? No! Henrietta Waste Paper Basket. Waste Paper Basket? Kevin Rush. Rush? Kevin Rush? Game of Vision, how may I direct your call? Claire, I have to ask you something really important. The answer is yes, as long as you go slow. At first, then you go fast, then slow, then fast, then faster, then faster! No, Claire, I need to know if we have an employee named Kevin Rush. Um, no. Judith St. Desk? What about Jerry Face? He doesn't exist either, does he? You're the only Jerry who works here, stud. Speaking of which, Mr. Teddy needs his favorite fluffer. Hello? You scared away another one, hole! But Dave was with me when I apologized to everyone. Unless... You ought to be ashamed of yourself, son! you, cracker. Dave was the cracker, not me. Screw you, Dave! Screw you, Dave! Front punch! Oh my god, he was aiming at Dave! Your trip to Hawaii? Thanks, man. This might take a while. Don't wait up for me. It was Dave all along! It's a setup! He knew I didn't remember anything, and he played on my innate sense of crushing guilt! He pissed everyone off and then stole my trip to paradise so he could be gone for two weeks while it all blew over! Damn you, Dave! You evil genius! I am an evil genius, and it's time for this genius to get laid. Get laid. Oh, yeah. Jerry's gonna like that one. I'll tell him when I get back. Ah! I've been dumped. Used like a common serving wench. Discarded like an empty wineskin upon love's dung heap. And I liked it. Oh, I hope we can do it again! Oh, hello. Did you see? I told you it was real!
I've been used for my man hands and supple nethers, then tossed to the wind like so much chaff. I have loved and lost, and I am in dire need of soothing onion. But at least I have love, even if it was a car. Yes, you heard me. I loved a car. Good for you. Yes, good for me. Good day, sluts. In love with a car. You don't think he's going to try and bang my Celica, do you? We should lock our car doors just in case. <laughs> Going to Sunnyvale Airport. How far are you going? All the way. Do you know how to drive a stick? Hell yeah, I can drive a stick talking car. Then let's go for a ride. Whippets? No. Poppers? Mescaline? No ether. Mm, whatever, it doesn't matter. Nice dude. Here comes the darkness. Now we all have crabs.